The deja vu is strong with this one. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Deluxe Class Ironhide! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. It's right here, you have Ironhide in his old mode. Typical Combiner Wars background, Transformers... Combined to form Optimus Repaint, the king of the repaints. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots. You have a brief bio right there if you would like to read it. And that's it for the packaging. Also included in the packaging, you do get the comic book with a nice piece of artwork here of Ironhide. And of course, inside there are pictures and words that form some kind of linear story that people seem to enjoy. So you have that. And on the back, you get an extended bio, so I will pan up slowly so you can read this. So there you go. 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 And it's gone. So there you go. So moving right along. Here we have Combiner Wars Ironhide. You know what? I don't feel like reviewing this. I really, I don't feel like reviewing this. You know what? But, Wizard Rings. Now these, these are cool. Okay, don't stop, 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 stop. Here, Ironhide. Look, Ironhide, Ironhide. There we go. <laughs> It's been a fun week for me, anyway. <laughs> so, anyway, here we have Ironhide, who is a repaint slight remold of, uh, of the Stunticon off-road. Um, good mold. Uh, you know, it, it, it works pretty well for Ironhide. Um, getting close here on the details. Autobot symbol right there on the hood, which is a little, you know, got a little messed up on mine. A little cockeyed. Uh, nice gunmetal gray right here on the front, as well as gunmetal gray on the rims. Looks very nice. The yellow stripe, which looks very nice. Again, very nice paint there on the windshield. I like that blue paint. Nice metallic blue. And some uh, gunmetal gray right here on the rear bumper. So they actually painted something on the back of the toy. That's amazing! Because they never do that. But there you go. Underneath. Again, you can leave the combiner port uh, flipped up so you don't have visible head syndrome. That's the way I do it anyway. So, there you go. And he rolls as rolling things should. Hurrah! Hurrah! And just for a comparison, here he is with Off-Road. So you can see that there are no differences except the colors. That's pretty much it. It's the exact same toy, does the exact same thing. What you see is what you get. So there you go. So there you have that. Of course, he does have his weapons. He has the hand-foot gun right here, which is done in a nice silver paint, which is the same hand-foot gun that comes with off-road. You can see right here, instead of purple, it's just done in silver and unpainted gray plastic. So you have that. You have the hand-foot gun. And he also has the same X weapon that came with off-road right here. And here's off-road's version of the weapon. Again, done in purple and silver, and this is just done in unpainted gray. So... There you have that. And of course the weapons can't store on the vehicle mode. You do have this slot right here in between the fingers that goes over this tab right here. And you just tab it on like that. And you got storage right there. You can take the axe, plug it into the port on either side there. There you have your storage. Just like off-road. Any of this seem familiar to you? Seems very familiar to me because I've reviewed this toy already. So, there you have that. There you have that. So, we'll just get right down to transformation. As usual, we'll do combined modes and then go to robot mode. So, for his leg mode, very simple. You just take the hood, untab it, bring it down, bring it up like that. Take your hand foot gun, put it into its foot configuration right there. Plug it onto the bottom. And now we got the combiner peg out, so there you go! Leg mode! Whee! Leg mode. And again, the usual clickety clackety goodness right there. Swivelly, 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 swivelly. All that stuff. So, there you go. Leg mode. Arm mode! Down to it. Just want to take the arms. 
And you want to bring them up like this. Bring that up like that. You want to bring the legs down. Just open these up. It's just like the aerial bots. And off it. Same transformation we've done. Seems like a hundred times already. Bring that down. Bring that down. This will tab in right in here. <clears throat> I lose my voice a little bit. Excuse me. That's not part of the transformation. That's never part of the transformation. Tab the legs back together. The arms, you want to untab this panel here so you can bring the arms back. And this tab will just tab into the side of the arm. Right, 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 right there. Tab in right there, although mine doesn't tab in very well. Am I tabbing it in the right place? Kind of, sort of. Okay. Do the same thing here, bring it back. I'll tab it right there into the forearm. That one holds a lot better. Not by much, but it holds. Mm. That's basically how you want it. Rotate the hips right there. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Flip out the fingers. Bring down this section right here. Bring down the thumb. As usual, it could be a left or a right hand, depending on what you want to do with it. Plug that in. Whoa. Stay together, man. Stay together. Bring down the peg, and there you have him in arm mode. Woo! I am having such deja vu right now. So, there you have that in arm mode. So, moving on to robot mode. We're pretty much already there. Just rotate the legs so they're facing forward. Split them. They split on their own because for some reason these things push themselves apart. Untap the forearms. Bring them down. Untap the forearm. Bring it down. That. Bring his head up. There you go. Ironhide, in robot mode, yay, robot mode, and it, it, it kind of works for Ironhide, kind of, kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of, maybe, it works, you know, uh, getting close in, getting close on the head sculpt, nice head sculpt, very Ironhide-y, nice silver paint on the face, uh, the eyes are blue again, they're very small, so you can't really tell, but, um, you know, I tried to make it work. They gave him the blue here on the chest to make it look like the windshield chest. Um, you know. It, it kind of works for Ironhide. It could work. It could work. Um, I know there is a third-party company that's making, like, uh, an add-on kit that gives them, like, their appropriate chests. Which, okay. <laughs> if that's something you want to spend money on, go ahead. It's an option that will be out there at some point, so... There you go, but it's a nice mold. I mean, I like the off-road mold, so, you know, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it, but there you have that. Um, he does have his Autobot symbol on his, uh, yeah, in this area. Um, I do have it under good authority that people don't like forehead symbols, so I wonder what the stance is on on crotch symbols. I'm wondering, I don't know. And it's Ironhide, too. <laughs> Avatars, anyway. Uh, only three people will get that joke, and two of them don't watch me anymore, so, eh, whatever. <laughs> but there you have that. Articulation-wise, it's the same as off-road. Uh, the head is on a wiggly, waggly ball joint. The arms are on a ball joint, so you get good full range of movement. These panels right here are also on a hinge, but they do get in the way of the wheels, though, but you can kind of angle those how you wish. Bicep swivel. Clickety elbow joint. Waist swivel. Hips are on a ball joint, thigh swivel, 90 degrees of knee bend, and that's pretty much it. And of course, he can't hold his weapons, you can give him his axe, you can give him the, uh, the hand-foot gun as a weapon, if you wish, but I never, ever wish, because it looks dumb as a handheld weapon, so I always just leave that off to the side. And, uh, there you go. So... There you have that. Now for comparison. Hey, sorry about the random jump cut there, but I totally forgot to do something. I forgot to do some other size comparisons because sometimes my brain stops working. That ever happened to you? Happens to me all the time. Anyway, here he is with Prowl. Here he is with Mirage. And here he is with Sunstreaker. And we'll also bring in Rodimus too since he is a part of this repaint wave. So, there he is. There he is with the rest of the team. So... There you have that. So there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. And one more comparison. Here he is with the uh, classics. 
iron hide the uh the train wreck iron hide because he literally looks like he's been in a train wreck so yeah there he is with his classics self so there you go so there you go comparisons now we return you back to your regularly scheduled review here he is with off-road so you can see that they are the same exact figure the only difference is the head so there you go we have that uh, here he is with the uh, classics iron hide which is eh, maybe a hair taller at the head than iron hide so we have him with his classic self and now we'll bring in uh, what are we going to bring in let's bring in Voyager Prime here and we'll bring in Leader Magnus you can see how he looks with those guys right there get these guys out of the way and we'll bring in Mirage here and Prowl and Sunstreaker if he'll stand stand for me Sunstreaker stand for me there you go and see how they look together right there Do, 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 do. And here he is with uh, little Rodimus. There he is. Little baby Rodimus. He's so cute. He's so precious. He's so precious. Because he's small. So, there you have that. Um, Ironhide. Um, it works. It kind of works for Ironhide. Um, and I do like the mold, so, you know. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. But it's still just it's another repaint. Um, but uh, I think the time has come. Now, again, I don't have the white prime, so I'm going to combine them with this guy right here. Um, when I have the white prime, I'll show off that combination. But right now, I'm going to work with what I got. And we will take all these guys and slap them together and uh, make us a combiner. So I'm going to get this guy into combine mode. So I will be right back. Bam! All right, so I got this guy here into limb mode and I got everybody else into their combined modes. Let's slap all these guys together! Yeah! I like slapping together combiners. <laughs> so let's plug in Ironhide as a leg. I'm going by the configuration that it tells you on the packaging, so... Of course you can mix and match. It could be arms, legs, whatever you want. Totally up to you. I'm just going by what the box says. So I'm we'll plug into that as an arm. I'm going to raise the camera up a little bit here because these guys are quite tall. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Plug on Mirage. I mean, yeah, Mirage. I thought I got his name wrong and it turns out, no, I got it right. You were right the first time, dum-dum. Oops, his arm came undone. Stay. Stay. And we'll take Rodimus, the chest minion here, plug him on, and there you go, there you have Optimus Maximus, minus the part that actually makes him Optimus Maximus, but hey, it's still an Optimus Maximus, so there you go, and it works, you know, it, it, it is what it is, it works, it does what it needs to do, like all the other combiners in this line, it does its thing. It does it well. Does it blow my mind in any way? No, not really, but still. Pretty cool. And here he is next to Magnus. Magnus! Just so you can see how he compares there. The leader class toy. And there you have it. So again, when I get the uh, when I get the white prime, what is it called? Battle core prime. When when I get that prime, I'll show off this combination again, just to show off the you know proper combination. But right now, I'm just you know figure I'd just show it off since I do still have a prime to combine them with. But um, yeah, there you go. Pretty neat. Um, you know, it's for the most part, it's a it's a pretty lackluster wave because it is just all repaints with new heads. Um, but. Still, like I said, they do what they need to do. They do it well. Hey, why not? Dare I say, why 
not. So if you would like an Iron Hide or any of these Combiner Wars figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so do check it out. And you can also check out my Combiner Wars playlist for any reviews you may have missed. That will also be linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's pretty much it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Deluxe Class Iron Hide. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Pull me in your face. <laughs> Prime, I'm here! Ironhide, where have you been, man? Uh, sorry, I got held up. By what? Impatience. Hmm. It's a horrible thing. Anyway, you are one of my top men, and thus you should always take top priority. Thank you, sir. Well, listen, I have something very important I need to tell you. What is it, old friend? While I was out on patrol, I saw... Hey, is that Magnus over there? Oh, li uh, listen, I know what you're saying is probably very important, but um, this, this, this is going to have to wait. I'll be right back. Magnus! Magnus! This is so not cool. Uh...